The next item inside the box is this book cover from junior high school. Now, these days they call it middle school, but in my day it was junior high. And we made these out of brown paper bags that came with our groceries. No delivery of groceries in those days. We just get things and bring them home in brown paper bags, and many of them became book covers. Um, this one, like most students who got bored in class, uh, I doodled. And as you can see, there are three panels here on this particular doodle. And they all pertain to things from the 1800s, say from the Civil War to the end of the 19th century, an area that I was really interested in. I'd invented this fictional character. Here you can see his name, Donovan, okay? And this is the Donovan's Weapons Company, and this is the D.M. Hillman Trading Company. And um, these, I didn't really have a last name for him. I just kept trying things out. But this one uh, is the best drawn. And then I even got bored not only with the class, but I got bored with the drawings. This one's a little less sophisticated, and the one at the bottom is kind of just a sketch, almost stick figures, more of a concept piece. Anyway, I, I kind of like this because I had taken an art class in seventh grade, and I didn't really learn much, but you'll notice there's different lengths to these shadings of the sky, um, little short ones and longer ones. I like the shape of this sort of palm tree that's coming over like a, a hand. Side view of the ship with some windows, front view, a couple of fish going in opposite directions for balance, and the sun with some large and small items. Uh, this was possible because I had a pen that had four colors in it. Um, you would put down the black, the green, the red, or the blue, and when you push those down, that's the, the point that would come out of the end of the pen, so you could do some color sketching. Then here's kind of a cross mark piece by the fish to make the water. I like that too, and I also enjoy the rounded edges as if the sea comes to an end because it really is just a logo for the um, trading company. Now over here we're getting more into an interesting area. Um, I devised this whole encampment around the Civil War called um, Bay Onet. <laughs> and uh, Bayonet Island on it had all kinds of um, armaments. This is the Donovan's Weapon Company. And here you see a tree that's got no leaves, destroyed by war, and a blazing sun with nice curved things, kind of like the palm tree up there. Um, and in the back, silhouetted against it, an airship. And another airship here. Now you notice these are gliders. There's no propellers or propulsion. So I was hypothesizing that these things would be set up kind of like by big slingshots, sent up rails and into the air and launch uh, in order to surveil the enemy, uh, cannon, some cannonballs, and this was seventh grade definitely um, that I had learned this in, so it had to be later than that, because I got these converging lines for perspective from seventh grade uh, art teacher, and I'll talk more about him later. He was a character. Over here we have the Donovan's Cinetoscope Company. Anyway, uh, you see kind of a villain type with a movie camera, which then the hand points over at the recording device, which is kind of like an Edison audio machine, a cylinder machine. And uh, then it points over here to the projector, which then puts the movie up there. And of course, in that day and age, there was no such technology. Um, but still, in the early 1800s, if there had been, it might look something like this. So, as you see, my boredom in class got away with me, and there's probably a lot of things I should have learned and didn't because I was spending too much attention doing these three panels when, as you see, they got progressively more disinterested. Anyway, that's it for this item, and we'll come back and see you again next time with something else that is in the box.